Okay, I'm just going to tell you one or two things about uh, the water distiller. We've been using it for about 18 months now and i uh, found a couple of little tricks which is worth knowing. Um, basically, we um, were finding when we first got it that it, the water was tasting horrible and that was due, we found in the end, to the filter in um, in here. I'll show you in a minute how to take that out. Um, and, and also we found that the machine, when it runs, it runs for four hours or, or until it's it dries, it got, runs dry, and then it turns off. But we were finding there was an awful lot of horrible muck, brown and black stuff, even just after one night's um, running. In in the in the base of the inside, which we'll show you. Um, so anyway, what we've done now is I set it up. Well, we've had several problems, so it's set up on the sink now because it, it used to be set up over here in the corner, but something went wrong and it it overflowed, it leaked, it flooded, and uh, it wrecked the carpet. A couple of times so we had to dry it all out and in the end we've had to replace the carpet so now we do it on the draining board so if there's any overflows it goes down the, the sink um, yeah so next the next thing that oh yes there it is. the other thing we've, we've had a problem is with this little gadget here which you put on there to guide the water in well, we found that it. I was coming out early in the morning to make my cup of coffee, and finding that it, it, it was hardly be any water in it, and it was due to this. Uh, it seemed as if it, if it touched the metal downpipe, it seemed to hold the water back. And if if you made it clear, then it would run. Well, so now we don't use that at all. We just we just sight gauge it there like that, and. Um, and it drips in perfectly, no problems. As I say, it's on the draining board, so whatever happens, if it leaks, it it goes down the sink. Right, let's go inside and have a look at the horrible mess. Now this is um, one day it ran dry. I haven't cleaned it out yet because I was waiting to do this video. To be honest, uh, I don't know if we can see it. This is from one night when it ran dry. You see. Now if you just run it normally, it runs dry every time. So what I've done, because we're on Economy 7, which in the UK is um, a system where you get cheaper electricity overnight, um, we've got that, so it seems sensible to make the water overnight. So having experienced the um, problem with, with the, the boiling dry, I've actually set it up on a timer and the timer ends half an hour short of the full four hours but I also I also fill it just a little bit above the full mark as well to make and then that way there's always some water left in the bottom in the morning and we don't get all the, the, the mess I mean if I clean that out now it will stay clean Perhaps with just just a little bit of a, a light misting, but it will stay clean for for until the next time I I don't get it covered. And it runs dry. Um, so there, that's that. This is the uh, the filter is in. Let's see, this whole thing's upside down. The um, uh, uh, there you go. You just have to push it that way, and in there, there it is is a uh, charcoal filter. It's like a tea bag. See it's due for a new one. So I'll do that in a minute. Um, if that gets clogged up it stops and it overflows around the sides. The other thing which we had a problem was it was letting it by around the sides was this, this rubber seal. It was leaking every day and, and uh, I got to looking at it and uh, I took it off and it, it had sort of calcification on it. You'd hardly notice 
but enough so. So I gave it a good clean, a good with a one of those um, rough sponge things. Cleaned it up and touch wood. It's been working fine since. So there, that's um, basically it. That goes. Um, that goes in like that, and then just clips in. That's it. That's, it. that's how you get it out. I should change that now. There, I hope that's useful to somebody. So if you don't want all that mess there, put a timer on it and just stop it half an hour before four hours, or three and a half hours, basically. Okay, bye for now.